An officer at this RCMP detachment described the behavior of a dozen of his colleagues as atrocious, telling his bosses about harassment and text chats on police computers and private devices. A search warrant that is part of an internal investigation obtained by CBC News details one officer allegedly bragging in a private chat about using his taser on people who were black and they were unarmed. And in another chat saying, I just racially profile pulled over a car. And the warrant details in-person conversations too, with an officer accused of saying Indigenous members of the community all have fetal alcohol syndrome and that they wouldn't go to the reserve because we're not going to help those people. It's absolutely unacceptable. It's not a culture we expect uh, or accept anywhere, frankly. BC Solicitor General in charge of policing says he was briefed this morning. There is uh, a full internal uh, disciplinary process underway uh, and I expect that that will be thorough and there may well be very serious consequences that flows from that. Consequences not just for officers, but potentially triggering a review of the investigations they were involved in. About cases involving domestic violence and sexual assault, the warrant says one officer called a complaint stupid, that the victim was a dumb Mexican C-word, and that he was going to write it off without investigating further, and called another victim a dumb effing bitch, should have worn a mouth guard. It's disgusting and uh, unfortunately all too predictable. This advocate says she knows of cases at this detachment she believes were mishandled. We know that many RCMP members, we see that in our own work, uh, harbor ideas that are not uh, conducive to effective investigations and to caring about victims uh, and survivors. And while some experts say these actions don't represent most officers, the force is struggling. They're competing with other police agencies for good people, and sometimes they hire people that shouldn't be police officers. 